Tonight I'm here to talk about uh, this dental curing tool that I'm using for uh, curing all of my light cure epoxies for fly time. Um, this is a modified tool and I had an vi earlier video about uh, uh, much about why I like it. Um, this is a full 3 watt unit so it cures the epoxies in a real hurry um, much quicker than the low wattage units that you can buy with the resins themselves. Now the unfortunate part about this particular LED powered light is that the spectrum wasn't quite correct to set the standard light cure epoxies. Now when I say standard I mean uh, the uh, clear cure goo, solar res, um, and even the the gel finger, fingernail polishes that you can buy at the local beauty supply will, will set at 380 to 385 nanometers uh, spectrum. Unfortunately this is 405 nanometers which is a little too high and it won't set those epoxies. However there is one new product out on the market by the name of Deer Creek that does set with this frequency. Now I won't guarantee it because I haven't used it know nothing about the product it's just a new product that's out but I was going to show you how to tear this thing down and replace the LED to the correct frequency if you are using the standard epoxies that have been out for quite a while anyway it's just a pretty simple affair you just remove the the focal and as you can see the LED is buried down inside there. You just unscrew this now the reason I know that this is a 3 watt unit even though it's uh, it says that it's a 5 watt unit when you buy it this is I know the voltage on this battery and I know the voltage that's required for uh, a 5 watt LED that voltage can't do it so I know it's 3 watts not 5 anyway I've removed the battery I've re removed the trim ring now this label just kind of peels off you get your bodkin underneath it and just pop it out And as you can see, the electronics are exposed, the battery end, and the LED end. Now, you got to remove these two little brass parts. These are uh, the buttons that push down into the circuit board to activate the uh, electronics in it. They, they're like little brass pellets. They're really easy to get out. Just a couple of taps on your hand and these things usually of course not this time but the pellets are just a they're flat on one side and then they're cupped on the back side that's the side that goes toward the circuit board let me get that one out okay I got those both out okay now we're left to remove the electronics from the housing here. I use the back end of my bodkin just get in here and push down gently on the LED that's on this end and the electronics of this just pull right out. Now as you can see this is the the actual electronics for this unit. Um, the next step is to remove this circuit board from uh, the actual 
circuitry or the this part just unscrew that little screw there and that circuit board will pop loose that's what's carrying the LED now be sure and unsolder the two lead wires the positive and the uh, the negative side of the lead wire before you try to do this you remove the circuit board completely and then uh, unsolder the old LED um, like say the old LED frequency is 405 I assume that you'll order the one uh, the new LED with the correct spectrum which is about 380 to 385 nanometers you solder that on onto that loose board and then when you go back to and reinstall it on the on on this electronic board here you got to be sure and put a little bit of thermal compound on the back side of this LED now when I'm talking about thermal compound it's the same stuff that you would use to seat a fan on a CPU in a computer so you can find it at any computer part place um, it's relatively inexpensive um, once you've got the new LED soldered on and the in the thermal paste in place bring that this little circuit board that's going to right back up on top and go ahead and screw it down and then resolder your two lead wires. Um, assembly, reassembly of this after it's all done is really simple. Just it just slides right into the housing. Just give it a quick, you know, line it up, get it all lined up. Now again, these little brass pellets have a cupped side make sure that the cup side is um, toward the circuit board okay line up your label Make sure that the P end goes toward the LED end. Stick it all back on. And it's basically done now. Pretty simple process. Like I say, a little bit of soldering and unsoldering. Um, if you're comfortable with the soldering iron, you shouldn't have any problem modifying this. Again, 380 to 385 nanometer LED is what you're shooting for and that will uh, cure all of the uh, the resins such as the fingernail polishes that I mentioned um, clear cure goo solar res those all set with this or with the 380 to 385 and the beauty of this is with that nice focused beam you can you can expedite the curing process down to nothing this has a timer on it which uh, will uh, you don't have to guess how much time or sit there and count down in your head it has an automatic countdown feature um, it's just a hell of a good and inexpensive way to uh, get a high powered uh, LED uh, UV cure light anyway good luck with your project and we'll talk to you again soon